Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to Argzy Farms here on the Oaks. It's a little bit of a bittersweet day today for us here on the farm. We are saying farewell. It is time for us to end our time here on the Oaks and on the multiplayer server and uh, wrap things up. So I didn't want the series to just die off with nothing said about it and what was finishing. And so a short little video just to jump in here, just to have a little bit of a summary about what we've achieved over the last five in game years I think it is it's been over a year real time we've been uh, participating on this experiment in the server and it's been a lot of fun have really enjoyed it uh, and enjoyed seeing how all the farms grow but the decision was made with the impending release of the new Oaks map um, that once we got to the end of this calendar year we would uh, pause the server everyone would sell up and then we'd look at whether it was going to be transferred now at the moment my intent would be not to carry on with a new server, I've got lots of other things I do want to try out and do, um, but others might and there might be some opportunities there so just keep an eye out. But yeah, like I said, I did just want to jump in and have a look at the server and wrap things up for us. Now we've got a lot of product and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a wrap up of our money situation just based on some time saving stock check. Obviously we can't sell everything at the best price we can get for it. but we can go through and summarize what's happened over the last couple of months and where we're at now. Um, I've been playing around with some branding and just seeing if you can put a skin on a wrapped bale and evidently you can. So we've got the logo there on the end and uh, the ugly gaming there around the side so if you wondered what's going on there with that. Uh, I've got to say a huge thank you to all our helpers we've had over the time. Um, there has been a lot of people who've come in and given us a hand. Uh, I can't go through and name them all because I haven't written them down but you know who you are um, and thank you all very much for helping. Uh, in particular in the last couple of months where Mark Caithanthwaite's actually sort of taken over and done some of the harvesting when he knew I wasn't able to get on. Which uh, does mean we've managed to harvest all our crops and get everything all sorted out. So let's take a little bit of a look at the map. I'll summarise kind of where we started where we are now and uh, then we'll have a little bit of a look at how much money we've ended up with. So if you cast your mind back to when this all started we had field 95, 96, 34 and this little one over here field 97. That since got sold and we upgraded when we went through and brought field 35. We entered into a uh, deal there with Dazed and bought two thirds of field 33 and he had one third of it and then the following year we were able to buy field 31 and then field 28. So we've expanded our empire sort of every single month, which has been exciting. Now in terms of the crops we had on the fields this year, um, we did also have the field up here with some sorghum in it, which we were leasing off dazed. Uh, we had the oats in this field, we had canola, a couple of fields of wheat, and then some sorghum down here in the middle. Now that has all been harvested, it's all been dried and everything like that. And again, huge thank you to Mark for taking care of that all for me. So if you have a look in here, you can see we've got our dried wheat. We ended up with 150,000 litres of wheat, 126,000 litres of oats. Combined value there of about $225,000. Now I'm going to go through, there's a few things I'm going to ignore. Um, we've not got any value for slurry, but I'm just going to add up some of the key things. So we're at $225,000 there or thereabouts. Come up and take a look at our lettuces. Again, not much there sitting there because we did sell those kind of recently. Um, got a decent amount of straw, 60,000. We've actually got a lot of straw sitting on the ground that hasn't been baled and had anything done with it. So we'll just count the 60 grand that we do have in there. So we're up to about $285,000. All crop silage at about 50 and the hay at 8. So let's call that 60. Add that to our $285,000 and we'll be at a $335,000. Sorghum, look at the value we had for that, $135,000. I wish we'd done that a little bit earlier. So it's at $470,000 there and then add in 85 grand for the canola and if my maths is doing me just right and I'm doing this all in my head as we go uh, that takes us about to $545,000 which should be about right when I look down there that the combined value of everything is $583,000 so $535,000 uh, $535, 
not too bad. I'm pretty happy with where that is. But that's not all, because obviously we do have some cows to go through and sell, and some cattle to go and sell, and we'll go and have a look at that as well. I've been fed, they are all happy and healthy, so if we come around the corner, we're just going to take the penalty that we would get for the selling it direct from the barn and not using the trailer or anything and shipping them back, but we just pop down into here. Find the trigger for it. There it is. So, we've got the, I think there's 30 of these ones, 30 in here, and they have a combined price of about 75000 Sell those ones, get rid of them. They've sort of certainly recognised their value. They were at about the age we would have sold them for anyhow. Now we've got 15 in here at nine months old. Getting a huge amount off those, but bearing in mind, we did buy all of these Anguses as calves at £300 each. So we've made a profit, even though even those ones which are only four months old, um, they've doubled in value. So still worth doing. Get rid of those. Get rid them all. Put them all there. And then the last lot here, 15 month old, uh, right to the max, 25 of those and $45,000. So we're just gonna have a look. We've made quite a bit of money just off selling all of those animals. I think we were on 190, so $348,000 off those. Add that to the $540,000 that we've got sitting there. So we're about $890,000. Now, one thing I do want to do, and we've had this all the way through, because we've had a little bit of a loan sitting in here. So I'm going to go through and redeem all these. This one's 56997. Make a full repayment on that one. Do the same here. 181 first. 186228. Repayment there. Then our very last one. Four, oops. 44570. Make a special repayment. There we go. Completely debt free. No loans, no interests, and just paid off a big chunk of that money, but we've still got $51,000 sitting in there, but there we go, good to get rid of all of those loans and clear all that out, and still have a whole lot of money sitting in there. So jumping back in and just taking a look at our land as well, value there, 300000 263 494 174 555 620 so there's probably... Again, without doing the math, there's probably about $2 million worth of land sitting there as well. So we've done pretty well, I feel. For someone who hasn't been able to probably put the time towards the server that others have, I've just been happy building up the farm the way we have and getting it to a stage where it was a fun little enterprise. Uh, it kind of kept a couple of people busy each week, which was nice, and we had plenty to do. And we tried out some different things, which was a great deal of fun. But that's about where I'm going to leave things. It's... Um, it's the end of the oaks. Like I said, it was just going to be a short little video to wrap up exactly where we are, where it's ended up and what's happening with the server. Um, it is sad to see it go, but it has been a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of good memories when we were doing some work together, um, but I just think it has reached a bit of a natural conclusion after a very long run thing. Um, but it was great to see some of the other farms, how they really flourished and grew across the time. And it was great to work with some of those other farmers as well. So huge thank you must go to Dazed himself for firstly setting up the server and then managing it and running it and uh, making it such a warm welcoming environment and a fun place to be. It had its own challenges across the time but uh, look nothing was unachievable or couldn't be fixed and uh, certainly days went above and beyond to try and get things as even and fair as we could so it was a nice little experiment from that point of view and as I've said previously we've taken some of those learnings across to some of our community multiplayer servers as well make those a fun and welcoming environment for each and every person who comes and plays on them so uh, thank you Dazed, appreciate that my friend um, and to all the other farmers who've been around and again there's been a few of them we had sheep who we did some work for early on uh, bovine was here and he took our canola off us strody was floating around did a lot of grass work and built up quite a dairy empire we've had hansen and pro farmer dk have been uh, around and running their farms as well and of course mark Thornthwaite has had quite a big hand in uh, dominating the map, shall we say. He had a very, very successful farm, but he did put the time and hours into it, so thoroughly deserved all the rewards that did come with that. But there we go. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to walk out the gate and close it for one very last time here on the Oaks. 
and look forward to possibly a new chapter on some servers with the new oaks on its way sometime very soon so for each and every one of you keep an eye out for that because that map is going to be even more special than this one but from me and from Argsy Farms that is one final fond farewell thank you everyone for tuning in I hope you have enjoyed the series thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you wherever we might end up next